Hey folks, Kevin here. Well, it's November 14th, 2023, and recently I got a request to give an update on my portable diesel fuel uh, transfer uh, tank. And uh, two years ago, I made a video about it, uh, introducing it, switching from using cans. I used to have two 30-gallon uh, uh, on wheels uh, vertical uh, columnar uh, tanks, which were a bit of a hassle and it had the hand crank on them as well and I went ahead and, <clears throat> and on Amazon and I'll put a link to it uh, if they're still selling them on Amazon uh, but uh, what I've ended up doing in the interim over the last couple of years is one because I go through so much fuel I ended up getting uh, a 300 gallon uh, this one I'm just leasing from the company, EV Energy, uh, not too far from where we are. That They're located in Fulton, New York. And it has a battery-operated uh, pump on it, similar to the, uh, to the uh, portable transfer tank. Uh, this has been absolutely fantastic. But one of the challenges I have with this is when I'm doing the work with the, uh, you know, digging ponds, doing the earthworks around here with the various equipment. And, and I have so many pieces of equipment that are diesel, uh, fuel, diesel fuel requirements that uh, there's times when this runs out and this is the one that I have to use. Uh, so I'm always topping this off. Every time I get this filled up, I top this off. Now, I'm pretty good about uh, making sure when the tanks are getting low in the excavator or in the track loader uh, or in the tractor, I pull up back here and use the, the primary fuel system, the 300 gallon tank. Uh, and this is off-road diesel for the equipment here on the farm. But there are times where I run this one dry and I've got this as a backup. Uh, also, there's a couple of times where I've needed the fuel down and back or on the other property. I can come down here and, and I, this is good. It will fit in the back of a pickup truck. It'll fit in the back of Pepe. Pepe is the, uh, the uh, utility vehicle here. Right now I've been doing some work with the, uh, doing some uh, uh, logging, some uh, cutting up firewood and splitting that, but it will fit in the back of this small utility vehicle. Uh, but it also has sights for forks from any position. The only thing I don't like about this system here is I have to adjust my forks in being pretty narrow to work this way. I prefer to come in here because it's just a standard uh, distance between the two. When this is empty, it's a piece of cake. You can pick this up by yourself and put it in the back of a truck, but seldom do you actually get it completely empty. I get it right down to a low volume, so I'll use a piece of equipment to get it up because it's just me, uh, and I don't want my wife to get hurt either. This is outside almost all the time. I, I'd like to be able to have it inside, uh, and maybe after I get the uh, shop better organized, I'll be able to keep it inside. Uh, it's in just like new shape uh, You know, uh, it's dirty, but it works well Oh, the only other thing I would say that is a pain in the butt about it is This fuel gauge, this is actually full now But it shows that it's between three quarters and one and full uh, And now I've got to go ahead and add uh, The 911 to keep the diesel fuel from gelling over the winter months so it's real easy. Uh, all I have to do is to open up the fill tank, put the uh, 911 in, hook up the battery to the uh, to the uh, pump here, and I'll just pump it and cycle it around for a couple of minutes, and that'll uh, distribute the 911 evenly. I do the same thing with the big tank here. I'll go ahead and and uh, put it in the fill hole, and then I'll cycle the fuel through it. Uh, and this gauge isn't accurate either, and that's how I've run out of fuel a couple of times. So this has ended up to be fantastic. Uh, are the labels wearing off? And we have harsh winters here. Yes. Uh, on the outside. Does this get rain inside of it? Nope. Uh, this uh, 
This unit is really, really nice. The, the, this lip right here keeps the water from getting down into this section here. Uh, so, I guess I've got to say, would I recommend getting this portable transfer uh, tank? It's 116 gallons. It absolutely. I think this has been a real lifesaver for. It's made my life so much easier. And using a battery-operated uh, pump system as opposed to a hand-cranking one that I've used in the past or taking and, and hauling five-gallon buckets and holding them up and dumping them into the, into the tops of the tanks or whatever, those days are behind me. I'll never go back after having this. Uh, and I think this is Italian-made. I'll, I'll make sure I put a, a link in the description for it. Uh, it has really been fantastic. I think it's great. It's held up perfectly. Uh, we have very low temperatures. We've had it like 26 below uh, Fahrenheit and uh, no problems with this at all. Can you move it when it's like that? Yes. Uh, so no problems with it at all. Super happy with it. Would I buy it again? Yes. Would I recommend it? Yes. If you got an operation and you're using as much fuel as, as me, I'd like it as a backup. They are expensive, but they're really good. If your demands aren't as high and and you've got things planned out where you're, where, like what has happened, it's, it's happened where it's been on holidays, where I'll say, geez, I'm down to a quarter of a tank, but I'm digging a pond, I'm doing earthworks on the property someplace, and, and, and I have to fuel up the excavator, the track loader, and a tractor, and maybe one of the utility vehicles or whatever, uh, you have to fill up all the vehicles and that runs dry because it's gonna take a couple of days for them to get here and refill that tank. So having this as a backup has been a real lifesaver as well. So that's my long-winded response. Do I recommend it? Yes. Is it, is, has it held up perfectly? Yes. Uh, the only thing I don't care uh, for on it is the, uh, what was it again? Oh, the uh, fuel gauge on it isn't accurate, but you just learn to live with that. I guess I could just take a marker and say when it's full, just put it uh, on the site there and just say that's the full mark. So that's it for today's video. I hope you found it of some value. And uh, if you have any further questions about this tank, reach out, let me, let me know. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe and take good care of yourselves. Bye-bye now.